Today on Part Spin, we're talking about injector nozzles. So today I want to tell you about a new product we've recently come out with here at Power Driven Diesel. We have a lot of requests for the budget conscious consumers or the guys that are just DIY and they want to build their own injectors. And in the past, we haven't sold our nozzles to the general public. You had to buy a complete injector. Well, that's changing now. We are going to start offering our nozzles to the masses. So watch closely as we'll talk a little bit about these injectors and uh, how you can build them yourself at home. First off, over here we have our 24 valve. This is what a 24 valve injector looks like. This would be 1998 and a half to 2002. We have nozzle kits for that. Our nozzles are competitively priced. Um, you might find some that are a little cheaper, but they're not as complete. We give you these sealing O-rings that go on the bodies. Most guys don't include that. The last thing you want when you build a set of injectors is to have leaks, and this seals fuel from mixing with your engine oil, so that's really important to have a good seal there. So we send new O-rings for you there. We obviously send the copper sealing washers at the bottom, and then these are the crossover uh, tubes. Fuel comes into these injectors from the side on the cylinder head, and there's a crossover tube that seals fuel from leaking outside. So we basically have addressed all the leak points for you. When you buy a set of 24 valve nozzles, we give you everything you need to build. Moving over to this side, this is a 12 valve injector. A little bit skinnier, um, very similar nozzle design and style. When you buy a 12 valve injector set, we're giving you a complete install kit. This gives you three different thicknesses of injector sealing washers. We get lots of calls, guys are like, should I run the skinnies, should I run the mediums, or should I run the fat sealing washers? Well, stock 12 valves ran both skinnies and mediums depending on the power application. Generally, what we tell guys, when you go bigger and you're going to run more timing, run the skinnier washer because it gets that injector a little deeper in the piston bowl and it, it, uh, it burns better at high timing. If you aren't really clean, your head is cracked, the medium washers seal better. Those are the two most common. Usually the only guys running the fat ones are first generation Cummins guys. And to be honest with you, they don't even have to run them. They can do fine with a medium as well. But we give you all three thicknesses so you can choose. Also, there's some horseshoe shaped return seals. There's re the fuel returns on a 12 valve, although it's outside of the head right here. There's a horseshoe shaped seal here that commonly leaks. If you reuse them, you anneal them, there's all kinds of procedures to reuse them that kind of works, but we just give you some new ones so you don't have to worry about it. So complete setup. One other option you have when you get uh, your injector nozzles are shims. A lot of guys don't have a pop tester, they don't know what to do. Well. We're, we've provided some really thin, these are 0.15 millimeter shims. What these do is they raise the pop pressure 25 to 30 bar. We found on used injectors such as this, they're supposed to be 260 bar from the factory. Usually they've dipped 10 to 20 bar. When we go bigger on a nozzle, we like a little higher pop pressure. Adds a little bit of mid-range throttle response. So if you put one shim on your already running injectors out of your truck, generally it's gets you in a range that the truck will work, it'll function. Now obviously if they're perfectly balanced and you know you pay someone like us to, to build them professionally, there's a little bit, you know, you get a little bit higher quality, but this is good enough. If you're a hot rodder, a DIY guy, you know, slap one of these nozzles on your body, throw one of these shims, if you option for the these uh, extra little 0.15 millimeter shims, throw one in there and you're ready to go. On these 12 valve nozzles, you can see uh, we've labeled these. They say 12 V nozzle. So you can really tell if it's a 12 valve versus a 24 valve that says 24 V. We tell you the spray size, five by 18 VCO, that stands for the type of nozzle. And it says the spray pattern, 145 degrees. So it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. You know what you've got. Now, if you have questions on spray patterns and angles, we do have another video that talks about SAC versus VCO. You can check that out. Um, but just in quick general terms, most stock 12 valves are 145 degrees. Most stock 24 valves are 152 or 153 degrees. We have a couple different varieties depending on the size because we found that that spray pattern works best for making horsepower with that size nozzle. And uh, like I said, that's the, the main difference is there. A lot of guys are intimidated. Well, how do we take an injector apart? How does it work? They're really simple. All you need is a 15 millimeter socket. I like a 12 point because uh, sometimes injector nuts are a little bit smashed and it's hard to get a six point. So a 12 point socket is what I like to use. This bottom end is just like a threaded nut. It's standard righty tighty lefty loosey. You unthread that, once you're there, there's the nozzle. Behind the nozzle, there's an intermediate disc. 
Behind that, there's this little pintel. There's a spring, and at the bottom, there's a fat shim. All you're going to do is add one of these little shims right here in the fat shim and put it back together. You want to spray it off with brake cleaner, carb cleaner. Make sure it's clean. It's ready to go. Our nozzles come pre-lapped. We've set these up so that they're ready to go on. We don't want you to have to figure out how to lap them, how to make them seal. We've set this up so that you can be successful at building your own injectors. So if you're a professional just looking for a source for nozzles, we can, we can set you up. If you're a DIY guy looking for you know, an opportunity to build your own injectors, save a little money, you know, and you get that satisfaction of building your own injectors, building your own horsepower, right here is the key. Let's move over here. This is the 24 valve setup. 24 valve injectors, same thing. It's got a bigger nut, but it's still 15 millimeter. The body is a little different. To hold the top of the body, you're going to have to come up with a hex shaped keyway, a vise with a screwdriver will work, anything to hold the top of this, this injector body. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, when I was in college, the first one I did, I got a pair of vice grips with a piece of leather and I just clamped onto the body and I clamped the vice grips in my vice. So, I mean, if you get creative, you can find a way to hold this injector body. Um, there's nice adapters and stuff we use here in the shop professionally, but if you're only building one set, it doesn't matter if it takes you an extra hour to build your injectors. Moving on to 24 valve, there's just this big nut. It's bigger, but it's, it's the same thing. There's a nozzle. There's a big intermediate disc. You don't have to be intimidated. There's alignment pins that line up with the injector. There's one feed hole, so it's really easy to see. So it lines up with a hole in the nozzle. And the backside has two bigger holes. Those bigger holes go on the body. I mean, it's, it's idiot proof. There's a little pintle on here that goes back. There's a spring. There's a big shim. On 24 valve, normally they don't drop as much on pop pressure. And they're, we don't normally like to raise them over stock levels just because you get some weird idle characteristics with a 24 valve. So the 24 valve, normally you don't really need to shim them. Like I think it's better to have a little low pop pressure on these than to err on the side of adding a shim, which might make it too high and give you some weird running. So on the 24 valve, if you don't have a pop tester, I'd say just put them together as is and, and you're all set. If you get confused which way these things go or they're turned around, well, guess what? You have six injectors. Take the next one apart and look at it carefully and see. But really, if you really look at the parts, it's pretty self-explanatory the way they go in. Once you put these on, make sure everything's clean, slap it back together. You can torque the nuts to around you know, 30 to 35 foot pounds is fine. You get up to around 40, sometimes you'll crack the nuts and split them. You get around 20, sometimes they'll leak. So there's quite a range there. Our guys that build these, generally they don't even have to torque them anymore. They've built so many, they're, they're pretty good. And then they put them on the pop tester so they can see if they have leaks. But if you want to be precise, somewhere in that mid 30 foot pound range is the proper torque spec for that. And uh, anyways, great way to save money. And uh, if you're new here, go ahead, like, subscribe, tune in, and uh, check us out next time on Partspin. Spin.